This is an overview of the Mega Slider widget. It's a widget that can take any container and section and turn it into a slide inside of your slider. You can even add entrance animations to each layer inside of the slide. You can even add background widgets and you can add whatever widgets you want inside of the layout of each slide. So without no more further ado, let's jump in and I'll show you how to get started. To get started with the Mega Slider, the first part is to add containers or sections with whatever content that you want to be the slides inside of the slider. Each container or section will be one slide from the slider. So before adding the widget, we're going to start making our containers. Now I'm using containers, but you could use sections as well, as I said earlier. So add a new container, just going to use one column at the beginning and this tutorial is going to have two parts. The first part is going to be a simple example and then later on I'm going to make a more complicated and more advanced example with animated layers in each slide. But first of all I just want to show you how you can set this up and each one of you guys can think how you can take advantage of this because the whole point is that you can put any widget that you want, any layout that you want inside of the slides. So let's center this to headline to the center and I'm going to add a background color to my container over here. So each one of these has a different background color. Inside of the text color, let's just change that to white so it won't look too weird. And I'm going to go back into the container, add some padding on the top, and on the bottom and in the CSS ID I'm going to give it a name now this part is really really important because this is how the slider works it connects each slide item to one of the IDs that you give the containers or sections on the page so duplicate this I'm going to do number two change the background color and Again, you don't have to change the background color. I'm just doing this so you can get a, an example of how this works. So over here, CSS ID, as we said, really important. And I'm going to duplicate that and give this one number three. Change the background color just so we can differentiate. And you, can, and you guys can like understand uh, how this works better because... Once each slide has a different background color, it's uh, more prominent and you can understand how that works. So over here, I'm going to give it a CSS ID 3 and that's it. We've set up our three slides. Each one of these can be a slide. You can put anything that you want inside of each one of them. And uh, we're just doing a quick, simple example. So let's add one more container over here on top and inside of that, I'm going to put the Mega Slider widget. So let's search for Mega Slider, drag and drop that inside. And once you've added it to the page, you can start configuring your slider. And the slider has a lot of options that every slider has, which is like autoplay, loop, mouse drag, touch drag, change the arrows and stuff like that. But I'm going to scroll down to the last part over here items and I'm going to start adding items. The items have just a title and a section ID or a container ID that corresponds with the container that we've added earlier. And I'm just going to add one for each one of the containers that we had over here. Awesome. So we got this set up and now without doing anything, this should already be working and it will only work in the front and preview of the page. This is not going to show you the slider over here. What you need to do is click preview and now we can see our working slider. How awesome is that? So that's the basic way that you do stuff over here. Now I'm going to show you a more advanced way of doing this. So let's just get rid of everything that we've done. 
Now in the second part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make more advanced layouts using these containers and animations and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add a two column container this time. In the left side, I'm going to add a heading. I'm going to add some text and I'm going to add a button. Again, you can design this any way that you want with containers inside containers or whatever. You know what? Let's make an example. Let's put a container inside a container and move the button inside over here. And I'm going to duplicate the button, go to the inner container, and let's change the direction to be side by side over here, just so we have an example, which is a great example, by the way, uh, of why you need this kind of slider because uh, in the regular slides widget you cannot put two buttons side by side so over here I'm going to add two buttons and you know what let's make this a little bit more interesting and I'm going to add a animated separator over here just to separate the text on top with the text underneath and on the right side, we're going to add an image. So let's search for an image over here. We can go for a banana. And over here, we can write banana as well. In this container, we can align it to the center. So I'm just going to align that to the center. And let's give a background color to our container. So let's go for a yellowish color because we're talking about bananas, right? So this is going to look awesome. And we can change, start changing the text and styling everything. Now, everything that I'm doing, you just need to do this once because later on we're going to duplicate it. So it might take a little bit of time to do the first time, but later on it's going to be easier and faster. So background color, let's do white background color and let's do text color black and for the next button i'm just going to do an outline so for the background color i'm going to leave it transparent so let's put some alpha over here and border type solid and which looks awesome then we need to add a border type solid as well over here just so it won't be um, smaller than the other button and i think that we have everything set up. Maybe we can make this a little bit bigger and voila, right? So this is looking good. Banana, separator, text, two buttons, which is unique, right? You can't do that easily in other slides. And what I'm going to do is duplicate this. So let's duplicate it. And this time we'll choose a different image. So let's go into the media library and select a different image from the media library. Let's go for grapes this time. Over here we can write grapes and let's just change the background color. So pretty simple, right? We'll go for a purplish background color, duplicate this again, change the file over here. This is a really unique one. This is called durian. Actually, I never tried it. And let's put a different color over here, which is going to be greenish, something like that. Okay, cool. So we got our slide set up. Next part, as we did last time, we're going to give each one an ID. So let's go over here and advanced number two. And number three. Cool. Add a container on top. Mega slider. And I'm going to start configuring the slider. So we're going to start off with the items. One. Two and do, 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 three 
We got that set up and I want to take you over the settings over here. So first of all, we can add an option for autoplay. So the slides autoplay. The second one is for loop. So we can turn on loop, autoplay, hover on pause. That means that when you hover over the items, they will pause. This is for the interactions. If the mouse or the touch will be able to navigate the slides, you don't need to change that. And we have all sorts of sliding effects, which is really cool. You can turn on or off the bullets. So over here, you can see that there are, uh, when you turn this on, you have, you can have an option for bullets, not just for arrows, which is pretty awesome. And that's about it. So let's check out and see how this looks. You know what? Let's go into style and see what we have over here. So you can style the navigation arrows and the navigation bullets. Let's change the arrows to be in the center for that to work. We need to change it to percent. And then we're going to change it to 50%. Then it's in the middle. Let's turn off the bullets just so it will be exactly in the middle. Awesome. I'm going to click update to save. And I'm going to preview the page. Now, check that out. Look how awesome that is, right? Very, very cool. So that's our slider. Let's take this one step further. As you can see, it's not a full width slider. So I'm going to jump into the container and change it to be a full width container. And inside of advanced, I'm going to give it zero padding just so we don't have that little white border going around. I'm going to click update to save. And I'm going to preview the page in the live preview. And you know what? Let's change one more small thing over here in the widget. Let's make our nav arrows. You know what? We'll do that later. So let's refresh over here and see the difference. Awesome. So that's how it looks as a full width slider. Look how nice that's working. Now, to wrap this tutorial up, I'm going to do two things. One thing is I'm going to show you guys how we can use entrance animations that are provided by Elementor as a default. And we're going to use these inside of the slides over here. So let's go into the grapes slide. And over here in each layer of my slide, I can go to advanced motion effects and I can give this layer sort of a um, effect, one of the effects that I want. So let's say a bounce in down. So I want it to bounce from the top. And this one, let's say, let's go to motion effects and I'm going to give that a bounce or let's do slide in from the right or let's do it slide in for the left that makes more sense let's go to the grapes over here and also motion effects and this one let's do a zoom in up okay so just a couple of examples i know it doesn't look amazing but uh, you can do anything that you want. Another nice thing is that you can add a delay. So if I want the image to delay by one second, then uh, I add over here 1000, which is in milliseconds. I'm going to click update to save. And now I want to show you guys how this works in the live page. So over here, let's refresh the page just to make sure. I'm going to move to the next slide. And you can see that the layers are animating. Look how cool that is. Awesome. So the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is that we can add remote controls. If you're familiar with unlimited elements, this is a real uh, important feature that we've added because not always you guys will want the arrows to show up like this on the sides. Maybe you want them somewhere else. So let's make one example with that. So to do that, I'm going to enable remote connection. By the way, you can also sync to different widgets. And I'm going to add a widget that's called Remote Arrows. Again, this is part of Unlimited Elements. So if you're not familiar or you don't know, you're going to need it to have it to use it. So that's the arrows. 
and to style these what I think I'll do is I'll make them a little bit bigger with no radius and no border over here inside of the gap I'm going to leave that to zero and let's see in advance what we have what options we have over here let's do it absolute position I'm going to snap it to the bottom and actually that's not that that's not what I wanted I want to snap it to the right as you can see over here I'm going to snap it to the bottom so it shows up over here now we can go to the slider and we can disable the default arrows so over here show arrows I'm going to turn that off I'm going to click update to save the page and voila these arrows are now controlling the slider so that's also looking pretty good and trendy right so hope you guys like the tutorial if you did you can subscribe because we're going to upload some more nice content and i'm gonna see you in the next video